Welcome back to the Bean Shed, folks. We've got an exciting day here today, and that is because I got my brand new EcoFlow generator and solar panel uh, in here today. Very excited to open her up. We're going to do a quick unboxing, see what we've got in the boxes here, and uh, see if we can do a quick little setup for this. I have never opened these, have never actually used any EcoFlow systems yet, so this is not a review. This is just an unboxing, and we'll do a review after a couple months of use. So as I mentioned, I have zero affiliation here with EcoFlow. I've never actually used a product. We were in the market for a generator here heading into winter, just in case, you know, we have a big power outage or something. And, uh, you know, we rely on the wood stove, obviously. And so this is going to come in real handy. If, uh, if the power goes out, we'll still be able to heat the house here in theory. So uh, I went with the uh, EcoFlow Delta 2 is the model that I went with here. It's not the top of the line. It's not the Delta Pro. It's not the Delta 2 Max even. Uh, but it's bigger than any of the little river system ones that you see. Uh, so I figured this is going to accomplish all of our goals here uh, probably pretty comfortably, and it should, uh, should give us what we need. So first thing we see here, obviously, is the box. It came from UPS like this. Uh, no, no outer you know, brown box for discrete shipping or anything like that. So uh, if you're expecting this and you live in an area where packages might uh, tend to get taken or something like that, uh, just be, be aware. I was kind of expecting it to come in a big brown box, but this is how it came. So uh, luckily we didn't have any issues with that. Uh, this is a 2700 watt generator here. Uh, so you're able to use 2700 watts, uh, you know, of power. Um, the solar panels are a bit different. We'll get into that afterwards. From the box, it appears, uh, you know, you've got a full charge in about 50 minutes, zero to 80% rather in about 50 minutes. And that's either from uh, solar panel uh, usage or, you know, just an electrical charging from the wall if you still have power. Uh, 1800 watt output, uh, surge of 2700 watts, of course, here, hence the 27. Um, capacity is 1024 watt hours. So again, that should be plenty for, you know, your average, average homeowner. And then 3000 or more uh, battery cycles up to 80%, meaning if you're charging it here, it should be able to do that over 3,000 times, which, you know, equates to about 10 years of use. So that's really awesome. Uh, obviously, this is a lot uh, different than a gas generator. Um, you've got zero emissions, obviously. There's no noise. Uh, you can control it by an app. Uh, no, no gas, obviously. And, and so it's really, really nice for indoor use, I imagine. That's why we have it here. Down here, uh, you can see a couple of things that it'll charge, uh, you know, in some time lengths. For example, 14 hours for a refrigerator, seven hours for a TV, 31 hours for a Wi-Fi system, uh, 31 hours for a light, you know, 16 laptop, 16 hours for a laptop maybe, uh, cordless drill batteries, of course, kind of everything that you might need. And then we have charging options here as well. Uh, AC power input, of course, just from the wall if you have power, solar panels, you can also charge this with a car battery, which I think is really cool. Uh, if you happen to be near an electric charging station or something like that, or your car is uh, you know, capable of doing that, you can charge it with the car as well, or another generator. Um, that's a story for a different day here. If you've got two generators, then you know, you're, you're on to bigger and better things. Um, and then finally, on the outside of the box here, it tells us about the different types of outlets that we have on here. We've got six AC outputs, two USB-A outputs, two DC outputs, two USB-C outputs, one car output, and then two USB-A fast charging outputs as well. So what is that? Six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15 outputs here on the one device. Um, really, really excited to take this thing out and, uh, and take a look at it. So once again, as you can see, this is factory sealed here. I have not opened this yet. Gonna go ahead and Start her up, I suppose. No time like the present. All right. First thing we see here is a little uh, warranty information, maybe a user manual in there. We'll take a look at that once we get the whole thing out. Got a pretty nice, really actually sturdy uh, sort of styrofoam cover there. It's a little bit thicker than your average styrofoam. Uh, so that I'm actually happy with that. That probably kept it nice and safe during transit. And then, of course, we got the actual generator itself. There we go. The last 
thing that's in the box here is this other little box. I imagine this is uh, some cabling. Probably a few connectors. We'll open that up in just a few minutes. Just want to take a look at the actual generator itself first here. It's a really, really solid piece of, uh, piece of equipment here. It's kind of, kind of bare bones enough, nothing, uh, nothing too extravagant on it. Really like the handles here. Easy for uh, transporting, of course. And what we'll do is first and foremost look at this side. Don't know if you can tell based on the light here, but we've got a series of USB-A inputs right here. Two of those, two uh, fast charging inputs. Got a USB-C on either side. On-off light, US USB on-off it looks like. And then a uh, power switch there. Very, very simple, nice screen here. And that's all that's on that one side. Uh, Bluetooth pairing light, I guess, as well here, which you can see, I'm sure that'll light up when you pair something. This looks like an extra battery port here is the only thing on this side in terms of inputs. Very nice couple of fans here uh, for cooling purposes. That's great. You got some rubberized uh, coating down here on the bottoms too, which is real nice. That'll keep it from sliding around too much, I think. And then we'll keep turning. Here's the main, uh, the main action, if you will. We've got a uh, couple, of, couple of AC inputs here. It looks like, you know, the, the four there in the middle, uh, plus the two on the either side uh, with, you know, the bottom prong there. Uh, forgive me for not knowing the proper term for that. Uh, car charger here on the bottom. Get that open. Very nice. 12 volt on off button. A couple of little, uh, Maybe three amp max inputs there. I'll look at what those are on the uh, on the user manual. Solar input is under here. Get that open. Very nice. Okay, there we go. So you got a hundred to hundred and twenty volt uh, AC output. Eleven to sixty volt DC. I guess that's for the solar panels. And again, I haven't even looked at the user manual yet here, so I'm just kind of spitballing some of this, but we'll take a better look at this in just a second. And then the last side, you got nothing besides the logo, a couple more fans, very simple, very nice looking. And then on the top here, you got a flat surface I really like. It's going to act nicely for, uh, you know, a phone if you're charging a phone on there or whatever, um, you know, just a little, little storage spot for anything you can, you can think to use while you're charging it up. Really, really nice. Uh, I don't have anything that shows the weight. I could probably find that pretty quick, but if I had to guess, I'd say this isn't more than, you know, maybe maybe 20 pounds, 25 pounds or so. Feels very sturdy though. It doesn't feel, uh, doesn't feel overly heavy or, you know, cheap by any means. I think now we'll take a look at the uh, other box here that was included. Pretty simple. And again, I bet this is uh, just a, some cabling, series of cabling here. Take a look. Yep. Couple of cables here. Looks like this is uh, the input, the car input adapter. Uh, just if you want that. There's those uh, little circle adapters here as well. I'm kind of butchering some of the terms here for these, I know, but uh, the user manual will help us out for that. And then last but not least is the actual uh, charging charging cable here. Do not use other cables to charge, plug directly into AC wall outlet. So this is just the main charging cable in case you're gonna need it. If you're not using solar panels or anything like that, um, it's gonna be helpful if it's nighttime or uh, you know cloudy, something like that as well. And last but not least, again here, we've got the uh, Delta II manual safety instructions. There's a warranty card involved here as well. We'll definitely utilize that. And uh, just go ahead and open her up carefully. Warranty card, save that for later. Quick start guide. This is just gonna tell you about powering on and off. Looks like, this is open. Product details. Goes in and talks about the screen a little bit here, the uh, description display, I should say. 
remaining battery percentage, battery indicator level, remaining charge time, extra battery indicator, AC output, all these things. Um, pretty much what we just went over, but this is actually on the screen itself, shows what to look for. And again, power on and off, um, kind of shows you to the sides. Very nice, very nice little layout here. Um, as you can see, you've got, you know, how to charge, charge the Delta II with the solar, how to connect everything, nice pictures that explain, you know, what to do. Use the EcoFlow app. So again, I, I have not, I have not used this ever. I haven't plugged any of this in. I haven't downloaded any apps or anything. This is brand new to me. So we're going to learn as we go here. Uh, and of course, we'll make a nice review later. But this is uh, so far, so far seems like it's a pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty easy to use. Then we've got, uh, here's why you need solar panels. Just uh, so it looks like a little advertisement for some more panels, which we already have, of course. EcoFlow app advertisement. DIY instructions for solar panels of third party connectors. Okay, gotcha. So uh, you could potentially, you know, connect uh, other, other poles. It looks like other connectors here. Uh, solar connectors are as follows, male connector, female connector, yada, yada. So that's nice to have actually. That just goes and explains sort of what to do, um, you know, how to connect outer, uh, outer party, third party solar panels here. That's actually gonna be pretty nice to have. And then finally is the uh, safety instructions and user manual, I suppose. Disposal guide, interesting. So that's the first thing. General info, output ports, input ports, battery info, operating temperature. And then we've got different languages. See if you can pronounce that for me. Nice, okay, so it's, I mean, it's literally just the one it's really just the one page here, safety instructions and specifications. Very easy. And now without further ado, I believe the last step is to go on and open up the actual solar panels themselves. This is a pretty, pretty hefty sized box here, so try and get as much of it on camera as we can. Before, uh, before we go through and open everything up, I'll take you on a quick walk around here of the box itself. So you can see uh, EcoFlow 220 watt solar panels, um, the appropriate fragile stickers here on there as well. Now this is interesting on the back here. This is an installation steps, uh, hook quick installation guide. Um, not going to go into too much detail here, obviously, but it gives you some nice pictures on how to actually set the thing up. Some uh, walkthrough instructions, take out snap hooks from accessory bag, uh, install snap hooks as the picture shows, yada yada, English, and uh, should be good to go. Just like the generator, again, I have not opened this at all yet. This is the first time. We've got uh, a couple of little packets here. It looks like some installation hooks as well. Come back to that in just a moment. Some normal styrofoam holding that in. Oh, this is very cool. I wasn't expecting this. We've got a nice, uh, well, let me show you. This is great. This is like its own little uh, carrying case here actually. Was not really expecting all that. So the actual solar panels are in here. And all you have to do, I imagine, is unzip this, fold it out, put those hooks on. We'll do a setup video later. Again, this is merely an unboxing, but this is nice, kind of a fabric, uh, fabric exterior here. Some good big thick zippers with rubberized coating on there to, uh, you know, keep it safe. I'm, uh, I'm thrilled with this here at the moment. Looks like we've got, uh, you know, some more cabling, some uh, um, ad adapters and, you know, uh, connectors here in this as well. I'm not going to take all that out at the moment here just to kind of try and stay organized, but I think that's just about it here for this box. Some more styrofoam in the bottom, but yeah, other than that, just the solar panels and the cables. Uh, very nice, very nice and neat, um, 
you know, packaging though. This is, this is really exciting. Um, makes it easy, easy to handle with the handle there, of course, and not going to take up too much space. Not a big footprint in the house either. All right, folks, just like that, we've got it unboxed. Really, really nice packaging here. Uh, everything feels like it's going to be good quality. Of course, haven't actually plugged anything in yet, haven't tested anything out at this point. I have no prior experience with EcoFlow. I'm not affiliated with them at all. I'm not sponsored. So this is, uh, this is purchased by me. I'm excited to try and use it here moving forward. And uh, never hope for a power outage, but at this point, I'm, I'm pretty confident that we'd be able to get through. So and again, what we're going to do is uh, do a, a, maybe a, a two-month review here or so moving forward, and then a setup, a setup video as well. Uh, this is just the unboxing, and I uh, hope you enjoyed. Let me know what other things you'd like to see unboxed or reviewed or anything like that, and we'll see you on the next one.